Hey, what's up everyone? Another beaver update for y'all. Uh, I was kind of lingering on doing this video or not because there are some people, mainly one person, that's been uh, really busting my chops because of this, because of what the, what's happening to these critters back here. Uh, but anyway, here's the update on the beaver issue. So the beaver guy came out Friday to check the traps. He found one beaver, he caught one beaver, a 45 pounder. He was a big thing, all right, very thick. <laughs> And somehow or another, an otter got into one of the traps as well. Now, I feel bad for the otter because you know, they don't really do any damage or anything. But uh, I never knew that otters were living back here. That was totally new for me. I've been here 36 years. I've never really seen them back here. So that was kind of uh, crazy to see them back here. But, uh, so yeah. So he caught one beaver and an otter feel bad about that and the trapper he felt bad about it he's like i can't control what gets into the traps and i was like yeah it is what it is you know uh, i hated it it happened but anyway but uh so the the beaver guy believes that he's got all five of the beavers the ones i saw there might have been a little bit more maybe six or so but uh but he feels like he got them all so he uh, ended up pulling up his traps. He tore a hole in one of the main dam back there. And uh, he's gonna give it the weekend, come back Monday. If they have not billed, then he knows that he's got them all. So that's a, that's his way of you know, really knowing uh, if there is or isn't any more beaver. So if they're not building back here, uh, if there's still a hole in the dam, then he knows he's got them all. And then uh, he'll contact the county guy, which the county guy will come in here and uh, have a team of guys come back here and knock down the dams, tear them apart, get this water flowing. So that is the update on that. So I'll let y'all know uh, Monday when I find out uh, from the guy, um, from the beaver guy, if uh, the beavers are taken care of. So uh, that is the update on that part. Now, you know, and again, I'm gonna say this again, all right? There's been one person that's really busted my chops on this about how these beavers are getting killed and stuff like that. You know, it is what it is. You know, they are causing damage to my property, all right? There's part of my backyard that I can't even mostly get to, I, or I can't even walk on because of how soggy it is, because the water has nowhere really to go. It's just sitting there lingering. So part of my backyard, I can't even remotely get to or walk upon. I can't even cut the grass. And it's also starting to grow that, uh, that kind of mossy type grass. And uh, I don't want that. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just doing what I have to do to protect my property. And if this one person does not understand this, then I am truly sorry that you do not understand this, all right? I'm trying to, you know, like I said, I'm trying to protect my property. I'm trying to protect my home. I'm trying to protect my neighbors and my neighborhood that I live in. Because not only my neighborhood, but on the other side of this creek is another neighborhood as well. So, you know, and like I said, if this, if this creek is not draining and flowing properly, it's going to cause major flooding issues. Now, I said before, I live on the coast of North Carolina. We get a lot of tropical storms and hurricanes through here, all right? And usually those hurricanes and tropical storms bring a lot of water. Just like last month or so, we had a little flash flood that that dumped a lot of rain on us for two, you know, two three days, and the backyard was completely flooded. That would not happen if those dams were not back there. All right, the water would rise up a little bit, but not as extremely as what it did before. So, yeah. So the you know these beavers has got to be taken care of. You know, I don't want my I don't want my place to be flooded out. You don't want your place to be flooded out. You don't want your your property to be damaged by somebody or something. All right. So hopefully you can understand that. Now, if you want to call me a murderer, killer, whatever, do so. Whatever you feel like it. You call me whatever, all right? I'm just trying to take care of what I have. 
I'm not trying to lose everything that I have. All right. This water, not even supposed to be here. It's supposed to be way back there on the creek. All right. So, yeah. And, you know, yes, beavers are very, you know, are, you know, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? They're, uh, they're much needed in the ecosystem because, you know, they're not just building dams and blocking up creeks and rivers and stuff. They're making habitats for other animals and also vegetation as well. The vegetation this year has grown so much, so rapidly that it's hard to even keep maintaining the backyard. All right. So they cause damage. Mount of damage. Now, if you want to have beavers in your backyard, hey, that's your thing. You can do that, all right? But I don't want them back here. Because, what you know, I said it again. I, I'll say it again. Flooding issue. It's going to cause flooding. You, if you don't understand that, I'm sorry. Now you're saying, well, tr trap them and relocate them. That's what I'm doing. Trapping them. Relocating them somewhere else. <laughs> somewhere not here. Yes, they're being killed. Do I hate that? Yes, I do hate that. I hate that the little juckers are getting killed. But, you know, to resolve the issue, they have to be killed. Now, I live in the South. That's North America, all right, USA, all right. The beaver popular location is very high. So a few beavers taken out. It's not a bad thing. Why do you think we have hunting season, fishing season, different times of the year that you can hunt and fish things? All right. You know, you have a season for deer, season for turkeys, uh, season for bears, uh, fishing. You have certain times that you can get oysters, certain times that you can go floundering, certain times that you can go spot fishing, certain times you can uh, fish for whatever. All right. We there's. It's all for the, a reason to keep the population down a little bit. All right. I don't know. I guess I'm just speaking out of my mind, I guess, or speaking out of my ass. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just, I really hope that this one person understands why I'm doing this. And like I said, if you don't, that's up to you. I know. Uh, and like I said, I was deplating on doing this video or not because I know some people don't like the fact that what's happening to these animals. Uh, they call it in, uh, inhumane, uh, murdering, la la la, you know, <laughs> call it whatever. But I'm not going to, uh, you know, listen to anybody. You know, I'm going to do my thing. I'm, I'm going to do what I, nest, what I need to protect what I have. So, that's all I have to say on it. I mean, it frustrates me that this one person just calling me out about it. Hey, if you can do a better job, come on over. Do what you want to get these beavers and take them to a safe location. Go ahead, do that. I mean, <laughs> That's all I can say. Come on out. Get the beavers. Take these beavers back with you. I don't care what you do with them. But, uh, yeah. Let me show you one thing. It's kind of windy today, but it feels really, really good. Sorry about the wind here. It's almost around. Switch the camera around here. Now I want to take a look at it. Now, I don't know if I can zoom in. Let's see. So, this is my neighbor's backyard, all right? See all that grass right there? Yeah, it was all underwater. That is his backyard. So, so back. So, our backyards go all the way to the creek, all right? With the flooding, all this vegetation started growing up. All that water coming up you know yes we're on a downhill slanted but when you get a good amount of water that water is going to go it's going to start traveling it's going to go somewhere 
you know, he went neighbors next door, neighbors over that way in a never uh, neighbor, uh, other neighborhood. So, yeah. So there's a good parts of our backyard we're not, we're not able to access because of how soggy, how wet, how flooded it is. Now I can go on and on, on about this, but I'm not going to do that. The issue needs to be resolved. I'm taking the, the, the steps to do so. So I can be able to live in a safe area and not be flooded out. Don't have to worry about water coming out to my house, destroying my backyard. That's all I'm saying. So again, understand why I'm doing this. I'm not doing it out. I'm not, you know, I don't have spike out for the beavers that, you know, oh, I want to kill them. You know, I say many times that I want to kill them, but I honestly, I don't like hunting. I don't like killing animals. It's not my thing. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> I just got hit with a leaf. <laughs> Definitely got to get back here and straighten up the park, but the uh, kind of really have to wait until, like, all the leaves you know, shed off and fall down and i'll get back here and clean it up but you know it is what it is you know it, it irritates me that you know right now a lot of my pathways are covered up by leaves and stuff like that but there's really nothing i can do about that until uh after these trees shed their their leaves and i can come back here and clean it up or i could just come back here and clean it up but you know five minutes later pff, like i never touched it but anyway so there's the update, my friends, and uh, a little bit of venting as well. Uh, this you know, one person just really irritates me, and you know I don't really get irritated that much by people, but some people just irritate the crap out of me. They really know how to push my buttons on certain subjects and topics and stuff like that, and this is one of them. So, yeah. All right, my friends, so thank you for watching. I'll see y'all in the next upcoming update or RC video. Update RC, R, RC update. <laughs> All right, my friends, so thank you for watching, and I will see y'all later. Cut. <laughs>